I thought I'd share this neat little spreadsheet I put together for baseball planning. It typically takes about 45 minutes to put together the game plan uh, for Saturdays. So what I did is I created um, three different game plans, one for like cutthroat, where we're just going to use our first string a lot, and then another one for kind of a medium pace, and then um, a third one for try to give everyone the same amount of uh, infield play time. Anyway, the way that it works is in the top position you put your best glove. Let's say I got a guy named Frank. So I'm going to type his name down there, hit enter, and you can see Frank has been placed for the whole game. Let's say that my second best glove is Cecil. Type him right there. Now you can see that Frank, Frank's playing first base, first inning, third inning, and fifth. Those are going to be your priority innings. And Cecil's playing the second, the fourth, and the sixth. And then it also benches Frank and Cecil uh, in the most opportune times. For instance, um, if Frank's your best glove, you want to make sure that if you're benching him, you're benching him in the second inning, since the second inning should be your easiest inning in the game. Cecil's your second best glove, so you want to make sure that you get his bench out of the way so that he's available when you're going to need him in that second, fourth, and sixth inning. Um, you go down, let's say that my my uh, my best kid as far as stopping the ball and then making a clean throw, let's say his name is uh, Jack. All right, Type in him right there. And you can see I've got, um, I've got Jack playing the pitcher position, which at our age, the pitcher is primarily a def defensive role. We're, this is for seven-year-old kids, so the main, he's going to be right in the center of the field. We want him to be able to make a clean stop and throw it to first or wherever he's going to throw it. Let's say my second best uh, stopper and thrower is um, um, Eric. Okay, So boom, it fills in. Eric in the second, fourth, and sixth, and then benches him accordingly. Now let's say that my worst player on the whole team is um, Greg, okay? I put him at the bottom down here. Now you can see we bench Greg right away in the first inning, okay? And then we go ahead and we put him at third base in the second inning. Now we want to make sure that we get Greg some infield time in the second inning, since the second inning is your easiest, um, easiest inning to win. We want to make sure that if Greg's going to get some infield time, we give it to him in a time when we're not going to have a, a difficult time defending. Uh, Greg then goes to the outfield. Um, Greg does his second bench because uh, we're just dividing the benches fairly. And then Greg comes back in. We give him a little bit of time at shortstop in the fifth. And then uh, Greg goes uh, left field right here. Um, a lot of people would put their bottom player at right field. I don't do that. I believe right field is... Uh, very important position if you train it properly. Um, pro probably your second most important outfielder. Anyway, um, and let's say that I've got my, my best overall defender. I'm going to go ahead and put him here, and I'm going to call that person Henry. All right. And you can see it fills in Henry. Um, Henry, we gave him second base, which is a really important defensive spot. We got his bench out of the way. Put him back on second again, put him in the left field, um, and then he got a second bench, and then he's back in second. Point being is that the sheet basically, if, if you can rank your players and figure out where they stand uh, compared to their teammates, the sheet fills itself in. Now let's say you have a kid that doesn't show up, okay? Week after week after week, you get the same names here. Maybe you change the order every once in a while, but for the most part, they stay the same. Let's say you have a kid that doesn't show up. You just fill his name in as substitute. You leave for the game, and when you get to the game, you can see all the places where you got to substitute someone from the bench into the game. And you just grab somebody that uh, has already taken their bench, or maybe somebody that um, doesn't bench as much as other people, and you give him a little bit more uh, playtime. Anyway, that's my sheet.